Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. My website is I'mJustSharing.com, and the reason I'm putting that in is because I did some little test of talking about visibility of one's YouTube channel, and it did all this stuff, and one of the things it mentioned that it ranked me really low on is that I supposedly don't mention enough uh, what I'm associated with. I don't have the link to my blog higher, so we're going to try some things here. And you're going to see what it happens. Anyway, if you saw the picture, you saw that I now have this book, Bleeding Orange, which is about Jim Beheim and 50 years of Syracuse basketball. And I'm happy to have that book. I can't wait to really get into it and read about all these things that some of them I know about because I've been watching the Syracuse basketball since at least 1975. So what's that? Almost 40 years? <laughs> you know, um, so I've been watching for at least 40 years and I've gone to a lot of games and I'm going to have a good time with this book because this is stuff that I want to know. And that's really what this video is about. What is it that we really need to know? What do we want to know? You know, I did a video way early in the year and I talked about how when I was working, I would be listening to documentaries of different types, and I enjoyed documentaries, but I started to notice that my demeanor was changing, and I was getting kind of depressed and mean at the same time, and I realized it was because I was watching a lot of documentaries that were about nasty things, uh, serial killers, and gangs, and murder, and oh my goodness, you know, and on the surface, it seems seemed really fascinating, and yet it was really starting to affect my mindset. And so I, I switched from those and went to comedies and cartoons, and mindset lifted. And so I have found myself back a little bit into this kind of thing. I mean, you know, a couple of videos ago, I talked about the thing in Ferguson. And, you know, then we had the thing happen in New York. Actually, a couple of things happened in New York. And then we had the kid killed in Cleveland. <laughs> and, and, you know, there's a lot of bad news. The other day, that you had the thing with the, the Taliban. I, the Taliban, I thought they were gone. But the Taliban going into a school and killing 120 plus children. Are you kidding? You know what? There's nothing I can do about a lot of stuff. Uh, it, it's tough enough being in the United States and hearing certain things without also having to hear what happens over in other countries with stuff like that. The, the, the siege, that's what they called it, the siege in Australia, where what, this one nutcase went in and he took over a lint chocolate. Come on, it's a lint chocolate. You know, what's wrong with you? I Okay, I know, this is a troubled guy and, you know, the world doesn't do well with troubled people. They just don't. But here's my thought. I get a lot of news alerts. And, you know, probably six or seven different newspapers. I get news alerts because I've always been one of those people who said, you got to know what's going on. And truthfully, I'm thinking there's other ways for me to find out what's going on rather than to get news alerts during the day. You get a news alert and it's something dire or whatever, whether it has anything to do with you or not. My mind says, okay, now I got to go see what this is all about. And I'm thinking, you know what? I don't need to see that. I'm thinking that I probably don't need to see as much news as I've been seeing. I certainly don't need to see the comments. What's wrong with people anyway? Uh, the comments are always horrendous in newspaper stories. You get the wrong people, the wrong element. And by the way, they're all hiding behind pseudonames. So they're all fake names. You know, no one is brave enough to say what they want to say using their own name. You know what? My name is Mitch Mitchell. It says that on the channel. That's how come I have no worries. If I get a troll comes in and says something I don't like, I'll throw them out because they're not using the real name. Matter of fact, a lot of them have a channel. And if you go check it out, because I check out channels, and they have no videos up. They, they have nothing. They just want to get on there and mess with people's minds. I mean, my goodness, how depressing, how sad your life has to be to do that. Yeah. But what I've done is I've turned off news alerts for most places. I haven't got to everything yet. So I turned it off for local news. I turned it off for CNN. I turned it off for Washington Post. I haven't turned off the New York Times yet. I got to get to that one and some of the others. And I realized that I'm going to see certain things on Twitter. I mean, I already had, had moved. Um, I was tracking a couple of different news sources in a certain column in Twitter. Uh, I use uh, TweetDeck on, on my computer. 
And I had a couple of things in there and I said, you know what, I don't need that. <laughs> and I'm tracking news feeds in other places and I'm going to pretty much turn that down. I'm still going to track sports. So I'm going to hear some sports news and some of it might not be great sports news, but you know what? I mean, sports is a little different. A lot of the sports news isn't going to be that drastic. I mean, if I hear the sports news, like hearing the sports news that John Lester signed with the Cubs, or uh, I think it was the Cubs, maybe it was the White Sox. Anyway, hearing that he signed with a Chicago team instead of the Red Sox, that was disappointing, but it wasn't earth shaking. You know, I didn't get depressed about that. Um, matter of fact, I was surprised that the Red Sox were even in the mix after what they did to him earlier this year, you know? Um, so that's a little, you know, it's, it's one of those kind of things where I'm asking the question today and I'm answering it for myself. What is it that you really want to hear? What is it that you need in your life? What is it that you don't need in your life? What don't you need to hear? And can you turn some of that down and find a way to, uh, find more positive things to bring into your life? This is what I'm shooting for. You know, I need to focus. I mean, I've got this goal of $10 million in the bank in the next 10 years. You know, by the time I hit 65, yeah, I know what people are saying. But you know what? One, I don't care what people have to say about my dream, if it's negative. And two, even if I don't hit that dream, if I can do something that, you know, if I ended up with, with $500,000 in the bank, $1 million, you know, even $200,000, I'm not going to sit there and cry and complain and say, man, I really messed this up. No, I'm going to say, you know what? You took some positive steps. You showed some positive growth and you did some positive things. But sometimes to get to that point, to do positive things, you got to find ways to get some of that negative stuff out of there. So probably I hope that this works. And if this works, I'm going to make 2015 more of the positive thing. Um, hopefully nothing really bad is going to happen that I'm going to feel compelled to rant about it, uh, somewhere, but you know, we need more positive. I need more positive and my goodness, I mean, I've got a goals post coming out on the 26th on I'm just sharing. And I re realized that out of all the goals I set for 2014, there's only one I didn't hit. That's not so bad. I'm thinking. And so that made me feel pretty good. And so I need more positive in my life. So my 2015 goal is not only, you know, I have certain other things, such as increasing my YouTube subscribers. So if you watch this, share this with other people. But, you know, I want more positive in my life. I want more happy in my life. And if I got to keep watching Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, and for you younger people, go look that up because it's a wonderful, uh, happy Christmas movie. <laughs> if I have to watch that every single day to stay happy and to smile, I will do it. I'm serious. Anyway, Mitch Mitchell, y'all take care and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a wonderful week.